Bryson Knight has already overcome a lot in his life. While still a baby, a traffic accident left him with a cerebral palsy-like condition, severely limiting the use of his right arm. But he wouldn't let that disability keep him off the Pine High School basketball team. Then last month, another traffic accident and another tragedy. His father, Christopher Knight, was killed when his truck went over the side of the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. But what happened in that dark hour has now inspired a Washington Parish community and given a lesson on winning, losing, and the importance a simple game can have. Andrew Doak reports. What do you miss most about him? Him being here. Just being here to do stuff with me. On the day Bryson Knight buried his father, all he wanted to do was play basketball for Pine High School. It took some convincing of his family to allow him, but they were there in the stands, and it turned out to be a night they wouldn't have wanted to miss. Was there a part of you that wanted to play to honor your dad? Yeah, totally. Is that what you told your family? Yeah, that told my family after the game was over that I made the shots for my dad, so that's who was they were four. That night against Independence High School, Bryson scored a career high 14 points and poured in four three pointers. Emotionally, when you left the court, what were you feeling? That my dad was proud of me. But it was more than just Bryson's father that felt pride for what he accomplished that night. It was a team that beamed with admiration for what he was doing on the court. And his coach, Drew Meyerchick, that recognized the moment they were in was bigger than the game. We, we, we were losing the game by 20 plus points. You know, had all the reason to be upset. Every single player on the bench was just pumped up. After Wednesday night's games, what'd your teammates come up and tell you? They were proud of it, yeah. excited, jumping up and down. It's fascinating what sports can do in our darkest moments. It can inspire, it can give hope for the future. And sometimes it can even change what we thought we believed. I love winning more than anything else in the world, but I hate losing a thousand times more than I love winning. The other night changed my mind. To wrap up our interview, Coach Meyerchick said it might sound cliche, but he's learned more from Bryson than anything he could have taught him in return. As for Bryson, he graduates this spring and he wants to pursue a career as a diesel mechanic. In Franklinton, Andrew Doak, Eyewitness Sports. And Coach Meyerchick wanted to thank the Independence High School team, their opponents, for handling the game with such class. It was one of those nights that I think touched everyone who was there and will for the rest of their lives. I wonder if Bryson has any idea how many fans he now has yeah, across the area. It's a lot. Yeah, you know, It's <laughs> odd because sometimes we say it's just a game, but it's more than a game, it's, too. Sometimes, sometimes too. it is.